It's time for bookkeeping, beer, and BS. Sean, do you see in in like the trends of our our industries? I know one of the things you've talked about that you've seen a lot the last year or two is just everybody's trying to hire that salesperson or that territory manager, whatever they call that. Are you seeing any new trend? Is there just more and more and more of that? Or are you seeing any other trends in the recruiting space where it's like, man, nobody used to try to like fill that role at that point in time in their business and now everybody's doing this thing. Anything else yeah, that you're I, seeing? Like roles I, that are getting the built? sales thing's still going, but what I'm seeing even more of, which is really neat, um, when you have a client for a couple of years and Dean's a good example of it, uh, Nicole over at Hubbard's a good example of it. Um, you know, th- she, she's, she's, uh, owns a residential home cleaning business. She needs a general manager. She's looking to pay somebody $80,000 a year to manage her cleaning business. I've got Dean with an ops manager. He's, he's going to relocate, you know, he's, he's relocating out of the business he's had for four years. And he's, he's got an ops manager that's going to be running it for him. So it's sort of the people that are literally running the business um, day to day, but also taking care of the P&L and, and all those other things like a general manager does. And that's mm-hmm. that's a huge trend I, I'm seeing right now. Yeah, that's a really good point. I do, do you see, it sounds like Dean's already got a guy maybe internally that he kind of like groomed for that. Are you seeing people like post for that job? We posted that job for him and, and the same thing with Nicole. We're actually okay. posting that for So we're seeing, you know, she's been a client for a long time. So we're seeing clients that we've had for quite a while. We've done the technician thing. Um, I think it was, was it Justin Paulson? The other day we were on some, I think it was this this show here, Turf's Up. And, um, you know, we, we helped him from five to 15 people. Now, you know, he needs some, he needs some management help. He needs some leadership help. And that's hopefully the next thing we're going to be doing for him. So as we, as we help companies grow, they need to level up and we need to help them find people to displace them and, and help them run their business. That's interesting. We, um, on the bookkeeping side, we noticed as people get bigger and bigger and bigger, we also need like more reporting for them. Their mm-hmm. desire to get a deeper, higher level reports grows and their desire to try to get more granular data of like job costing. And that's different for different industries, more project-based work, job costing type of stuff where you can say like, how much it costs us to go do that specific job, right? Um, so like we're, we're working our way into creating more stuff that we need to work on, which is like good and bad, right? We, we have so many more clients in, in a similar vein where they have multiple divisions. Like you got Rob here and he's got a lighting division and a pressure washing division. I don't think, Rob, we've split that out on your books yet, but we have more. Mm-hmm. We were talking about Jeremy Brooke earlier. He's got a paver sealing division and a pressure washing division. So like on their books, we're splitting them up. It's like two different cost of goods sold. I mean, we do the same in our business, right? We have a recruiting division. We have a bookkeeping division. So they're two separate things until we hit that admin line. And we're seeing more and more and more clients doing that. And all of a sudden, again, I suck at building processes. So it's just something I started building out and building allocation <laughs> spreadsheets and stuff. And then I dish it off to somebody and be like, here, they, they have two divisions. So you need to split up their costs based on if it was for this or that. And they're like, huh? I'm like, oh, yeah, you haven't been working on home service businesses for a decade. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I get why that doesn't make sense, I guess. Somebody, somebody help. We need to build a process. And I, it's not me. 